Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm dedicating this video to Hayley Bieber's makeup look that she wore at the Academy Museum Gala, which she just looked absolutely stunning. Also, the internet was broken when Hayley Bieber and Selena Gomez were photographed together. Who would have thought it? And she just looked, I mean, both of them just looked absolutely stunning. So if you wanna know how to recreate the Hailey Bieber look with products that you have at home, then keep watching. Okay, so to me, it seems like she has a very matte base. It's not as dewy as she normally likes to do it. So I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Primer. I have not used Too Faced in such a long time. And I recently got this Greatest Hits from Too Faced and I'm just falling in love with it again. So I'm definitely gonna keep my base as matte as I possibly can and then add in that glow as and when I need to. God, this smells so good. This has coconut in it, doesn't it? Yeah, coconut water, probiotics, and skin revivers, so. Although this has given me a little bit of a glow, I can just mat it down. God, it's been so long since I've used this. It has actually given me a bit of a glow, which is not what I wanted. I wanted a more matte base, but that's okay because what I can do is matte it down afterwards. So I'm actually gonna do the eyes first. So I'm just gonna zoom you guys in a little bit closer. Okay, so first gonna go in with the NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. And I just pop that on my eyelids and just gonna use my fingers to smudge it out. Hayley Beaver is such a fan of using her fingers a lot in her makeup routines. I gather that her makeup artist would use her fingers as well, knowing that's what Mrs. Bieber likes. And because it's very, it's actually quite neutral, the eye, but with a lot of brown tone. To set that down, I'm just gonna use the MAC Single Eyeshadow. This is the Powder Kiss range in shade Best of Me. And just pat that down like that. And then because it's quite simple, the eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with this NARS palette. This is in the shade Mojave. It's beautiful. It's just, you've got matte shades in here. You've got a bit of sparkle, which I think that is what Hayley Bieber has used. Just a tiny bit. In fact, it doesn't look like she's used any sparkle in her eyeshadow. And then here, it looks very brown, but also kind of got that moviness to it. So I'm first going to go in... Again, another NARS palette here. I'm just gonna use this shade here, which is gorgeous. It is shade uh, Kalari. Botched it, don't come for me. And I'm just gonna take a bit of that and put it just in the crease of my eye. This has a slight sheenness to it, but not too much, like that. I'm going back in with this palette here and just taking the same brush just a lightest touch of this dark brown color and deepening the edges. I'm just gonna take my finger and take the shade here and just put that on the base. Again, it's not too much sparkle, but it's just enough. Going back with this shade here, this kind of like mauvey brown. I'll kind of swatch it for you. And then I'm gonna just take that shade and go under the eye and smudge that out. Okay, for eyeliner, it looks like she's just used a pencil and smudged it out, so that's what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna use this Precision's Formula Eyeliner for a little wing and to go along the lash line. It looks like she's just got the most tiniest bit. And I'm just gonna take a blending brush and just lightly smudge that out. So it looks really, really effortless. Now let's come on to brows. I'm gonna use my hourglass brow pencil and just use the spoolie to brush it all up. And then I'm just gonna use this brow gel from Got To Be, which literally freezes it 
in place so what I like to do is just comb it through and then I'll go back and fill them in and I'll come back to the brows in a second but for now let's go on to skin now I know that Hailey Bieber loves the Chanel foundation but I don't have that but I do have the luminous silk foundation which is almost similar it gives you that really dewiness even though here it looks really matte I still want to give my skin that life that I know she likes and then I'm going to use a powder to set it down so I know she likes to use her hands to apply foundation so just done like one and a half pumps and just gonna pop it on my skin and then like massage it in this is how I used to apply foundation back in the day and I feel like so many makeup artists have gone back to that it means you need less product as well because the brushes are not eating up product that feels so nice and it means as well like around my brows where I've just used that brow gel I can be extra careful it does just mean that you have foundation on your hands which is kind of annoying and then with a beauty blender make sure that is all blended so I'm just going to conceal some pigmentation that I've got and for that I'm going to use the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Concealer. I absolutely love this. I've had this for so long, we purchased it so many times. It's great if you are a person who suffers from acne or you have pigmentation and you just need that extra coverage and while that is kind of like mulling over I'm going to use the Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez because they are now besties for under my eyes just to brighten that up it looks like here she has quite bright under eyes so I'm going to do that and then I'm also going to use it to contour the nose and then under the mouth which I know Hayley likes to do just like that now I'm going to quickly go in with the spot treatment and blend that in with my beauty blender and then I am going to contour as well all with cream products because I know that Hayley likes to use cream products now because I've let that sit my concealer for a while I'm just going to take my max prep and prime And then I'm just gonna go in with this side. So I now know why I do my concealer first, then my contour. It's because at the very end, I like to go back in with this side and blend out my nose contour, make it really, really subtle. Because obviously it does have a little bit of the concealer still on there. But then because I've left it to last, it means, you know, it's fresh to use when I need to with a concealer because obviously I have to run it under the tap and yeah you get this really lovely soft contour effect oh then I'm going to go back in with to my brows with that same hourglass pencil I'm just going to fill it in where I am sparse she's got such fluffy brows and then finally to give it a bit more dimension I'm going to go in with the 3D brow tones from Benefit, love this um, and just brush it through to make it fluffy again but this also adds a bit of dimensional colour which is so nice before I put mascara on I am going to lightly set under my eyes and for that I'm using the Clinique setting powder in shade 2 which has a really nice pink undertone to it which I love it's really brightening and I might as well just almost do my t-zone while I'm here just lightly tap I'm just gonna go in with eyelash curlers look away if you're a bit squeamish Hayley doesn't like to wear falsies and it doesn't look like she is wearing false lashes here so I am going to go in with the MAC stack mascara to give me that length 
and fullness but without the false lashes. Okay, so mascara done. Now on to a bronzer. For that, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I absolutely love this bronzer. And I like to use a brush with it. Bronze up my face a bit. Just there. And then blush. I'm actually going to use a cream blush. So I'm first going to use this cream blush called Naughty and Spice from Nude Sticks. It's this gorgeous pink that could be used all over the face. Also a little bit on my nose. This does come with a brush, but I don't like it. I feel like it moves the product around. It's just looking so fresh and dewy. Just really, really love it. I will go as well back in with the beauty sponge and like just make sure it's really really seamless and then i'm going to use this other nude stick product called hey honey as a highlighter she doesn't have a lot she's got a bit there dab it into place blend with my fingers there and it just looks super natural right on to lips this has been hard like i haven't figured out what lip combo she is wearing it looks very nude but then in some bits it looks really brown i'm going to use this lip pencil here from nude sticks again it's in the shade called fringe i'm just going to see if this will work on the outside just going to use this lip pencil here oak from mac it also brings that coolness to it i feel like it's all very cool tones okay I think that's worked a little bit better and she's probably just put on a gloss i'm actually going to use this new lipstick from nars to add a bit more pinkiness to it and a more neutral tone less golden and this is a long wearing lipstick it's part of their new power play i'm just gonna put it in the middle yeah that is like really toned it down a bit i wouldn't be surprised if she had used like her makeup artist had used like five products i've just used three shine that looks really really good and it doesn't look like she's wearing any gloss it looks like it's a very matte lip no gloss whatsoever let me just set all of this and i'm going to use the kylie blush in shade pink power it's beautiful and it's going to sit really nicely on top of this i think and that looks really nice haven't used this in a while but it's really really lovely so that's it i feel like that's all just melted in and for the final step to lock everything in and melt it in and make it just look super flawless again with the max prep and prime just to lock it in place i am going to do my hair change my ensemble and i'll be back in two ticks okay guys so just put on this dress which you actually can't even see but um it's this really nice chocolate brown dress i thought it would go well for you know this hayley bieber theme seen as that is what she is wearing this like chocolate bandeau um dress i don't have a bandeau dress but i got this so guys this is the finished makeup look i really hope you enjoyed recreating hayley bieber's academy museum look which is very bronze and very autonomous if you do decide to recreate this please let me know and if you know any of the exact products that her makeup artists use i would appreciate it if you just leave it in the comments down below like let's all share these little tips and products with each other so if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here then please subscribe i'd love to have you part of my little community here on youtube and if you want to see more of me then come over to my instagram and tiktok which is at mona's eyes beauty let me know what you guys think thank you so much guys again and i'll see you in my next youtube video